All right, for over a decade, the Jones County Sheriff's Department and the County Board Supervisors have sat on opposite sides of the table when it comes to funding the Sheriff's Department. Sheriff Alex Hodge has become very vocal about the situation, saying the department needs more money. Tonight, a special report about why the sheriff says his department is in need of that money and what the board thinks about it. Here's Fox 23's Corey Howard. For the past 11 years, tempers flared at board meetings between the Jones County Sheriff and the Board of Supervisors. No interest. He's the same guy that said we'll just take some more of the sheriff's money whenever they did the emergency order so that they could legally get any money. He looked and said we'll just have to get some more of the sheriff's money. That's fact. And they have. This heated debate comes after an adjourned board meeting that took place earlier this week. So, uh, the president engaged me about the budget, budget process. Um, and again, it's not going to be resolved in the room because for 11 years we've tried to communicate, we've tried to present, we've tried to talk to no avail. We're just on totally two sides of the spectrum. They are trying to work with him, you know, they've asked questions, you know, well, what, what can we do, look at this, you know. I think they've sat down, they've had meetings with the chief financial officer, but like again, um, the resources are just not there to give him the budget that he is wanting. The sheriff's budget runs off of $5.5 million, more than a million dollars short of the $7.3 million budget the sheriff requested. Sheriff Hodge says the department cannot function off the current budget given by the board. In a sit-down interview, the sheriff explained why. 75% of my budget's in salaries. 75% of my budget is in salaries. And let's not forget, $5.5 .5 million budget covers all operations, including two jails, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Of that $5.5 million, $650,000, that's in health insurance. That puts me at $4.8 million. They expect, as you've heard them say publicly, now they have said, that they expect me to generate and turn back in nearly a million dollars. So that leaves me with $3.8 million of actual tax base money. In that budget, the sheriff must provide an average of 225 inmates, three meals per day, with a food budget of $150,000 for the entire year, and an $80,000 budget for inmate medical care. Compare that to Lamar County's medical budget of over $450,000 a year and a food budget of $220,000 for a daily average of 50 inmates. And when it comes to funding his department... And not to mention the employees of this department that are working at an average $30,000 pay for corrections, $41,000 for deputy sheriffs. They're working by themselves. They're worn out. We can't even pay overtime to get people to work. So when the sheriff faces criticism for being over budget, his response? I have said repeatedly publicly, I am over budget. I'm over budget. I, what else? That's what I want to talk about. Let's talk about why we're over budget. The officials elected to the Board of Supervisors refused to comment on the issue. Corey Howard, Fox 23 News. Tomorrow, we'll take you inside the Jones County Jail managed by the Sheriff's Department and examine reasons why the sheriff says he needs more money to fund the jail.